part two. Let's talk about something important here. Uh, <laughs> I just explained to you what these idiots think in a prior video. They've told you that virtual particles and real particles are the same thing. Well, yeah, Donald Duck and a real duck are the same thing, too. I beg you, I beg you to type on YouTube, type in Feynman, F-E-Y-N-M-A-N, and magnetism. You'll see a short little video. It's only about four minutes long. And uh, this guy, is the he's dead now. Hooray. Um... Talking about magnetism, there's a British guy that interviews him and Feynman sitting in his chair, and you will never see a more absurd example of insane human stupidity, hubris, ignorance, and uh, pathetic BS on YouTube than this moron trying to explain magnetism. He doesn't even, even try to explain magnetism. He says, well, it's kind of beyond your comprehension. You know, I just can't begin to explain it. And then he proceeds to talk about uh, Millie slipping on the ice, like an old woman slipping on the you know, <clears throat> this guy, now dead, is the cult figurehead, and that's what it is. Quantum mechanics and general relativity is a stinking cult. Is the cult figurehead who has no idea how to even begin to explain it. He, he doesn't know, okay? That, which is fine. If you said, well, we don't know yet. In current science, we have no idea what magnetism is because, as I told you before in the prior video, this is something you really need to understand, You've only got two ways of explaining this universe, rationally and irrationally. Rationally is the ether, okay, or inertia. Uh, this is exactly what Nikola Tesla talked about, uh, James Clerk Maxwell, Oliver Heaviside, all the people that actually gave you and invented the modern world, not that asshole Einstein that didn't invent the damn thing. And by the way, the Nobel Prize that he won for the photoelectric effect... He's not only a the per he's not the person that discovered it, and b his explanation was absolute ludicrous BS. Photoelectric effect does not work the way he said it is. He never invented anything. Everything that Einstein actually ever wrote that was halfway intelligent he stole from Henri Poincaré. There are at least six books. There's more than six books about this fact. One of the books on Einstein detailing every little stupid thing that he stole and did wrong. And is uh, it's over 2,700 pages long. I mean, gee, it's not a real book because it's 2,700 some pages long. It's nothing about detailing absolutely every fart in Einstein's life, every time he twitched his eyebrow and scratched his ass, and how he came up with nothing. Nothing. These people, look at it, you replace the ether which is incredibly rational. It's like no different than saying, we are swimming around in a sea of air, right? You know, I talk, vibrations come uh, into the air, they vibrate on this microphone, things happen. We're, you know, sea of air. Well, there's another sea. There's an ultimate sea, and it's absolutely everywhere. Even between galaxies, the sea exists, and it's called the ether, okay? Now, <clears throat> anybody that thinks that they can deny the ether, I would love to have you try to do it, because it is absolutely 100% impossible, because when you replace... The ether. There's only one thing that you can replace it with, and it's insane to even think of trying to... Number one, instantaneous action at a distance makes that impossible. 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 There's, a, there's an old uh, logical paradigm on the, the notion that uh, nothing travels faster than the speed of light. Well, if there's nothing in the universe but the Earth and the Sun, okay, the, sun's going, the Earth's going around the Sun, right? If there's nothing in the universe other than that, and the sun will immediately to vanish, you know, just disappear. Not black hole, nothing, you just remove it. The earth would immediately go flying off into oblivion, right? Well, how is that possible? It takes X number of minutes, I think it was a six minutes or seven minutes for light, to reach the earth from the sun. So if you're to immediately remove the sun, how is it that instantaneously the earth would just start to fly off into oblivion? Hmm, nothing travels faster than the speed of light. Hmm, well, hmm, that, that's, yeah. You see particles, <laughs> you see quantum mechanics in its infinite stupidity and sanity and uh, its uh, tinfoil hat lunacy created uh, something very interesting called virtual particles. And they actually came up with something else called messenger particles. 
And these messenger particles, none of these, no virtual photon or no virtual particle is the input or output of any experiment ever done on Earth, ever, at any point in time, ever. But they actually use that to explain magnetism, electromagnetic induction, the Casimir effect. They, they use something that has absolutely no basis in reality, even by their own admission, to explain the most fundamental, hardcore principles of the universe. They actually think, and they even say, well, magnetic field between two poles of a magnet is caused by the exchange of virtual photons. Really? A field is not a thing. A field has no... They all talk about, well, we have uh, vectors, we have a line of force. A line of what? Force is not a thing. A force is what something does, you know? It's like, well, I got, uh, I got hit by a force. No, you got hit by a fist in the face. Like, uh, oh my god, I just got hit by a force. No, you got hit by someone's fist, which transferred force to you. These people have invented a fairy tale that is more astronomically unbelievable than the insane crap that uh, that uh, that uh, Disney's uh, puppeteers and animators could ever come up with than Snow White or any of the other animated flicks. I mean, absolutely insane. These people have actually said there is no distinction between virtual and actual particles. Okay, there's no difference between Donald Duck and a real duck either. Okay, let's 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 uh, let's uh, roll with that. This this is insanity. That's insanity. You replace the ether. The only thing you could replace it with is something that could never replace it, and that's particles. They think that Mother Nature is a cross-eyed hooker on crack with a gigantic bag of magic particles. Okay. There's no denying this. Everything's a particle, you know. How about magnetism? You know, there's no particles flowing between one another. We know the field is there, you know. Things are waving. Yeah, there's a wave is not what something is. A wave is what something. Look, this is a wave. No, that's your hand flapping. No, no, it's a wave. They talk about <laughs> transverse waves, electromagnetic wa <laughs> waves of what, you morons? Waves of what, damn it? Waves of what? These people have reified nothing as something. They have actually told you that Donald Duck and a real duck are the same thing. Oh, wait, I, I meant the same thing. There's no distinction between a virtual particle and an actual particle. As such, in theoretical physics, there is no distinction between a real and a virtual particle. In the practice, the lifetime of an ordinary particle is far longer than the lifetime of a virtual particle that contributes to the processes of particle physics. Uh-huh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> Let's take a look at their uh, explanation for what a photon. A photon has no basis in reality. A photon is only a misapprehension of the coaxial nature of light. Transverse electrical magnetic, longitudinal dielectric, rarefactions and compressions. Okay. A photon is an elementary particle, the quantum of all forms of electromagnetic radiation, including light. It is the force carrier. It is... No one on Earth has ever seen... A photon has never been the input or output of any experimentation. You know, may, maybe the next time I'm using my camera... Here's a little miniature camera. And I've taken like a thousand pictures. I'm going to take my lens. I've got, I've got to empty out the photons. You know, my camera's full of photons. Give me a break with this bullshit. These people are nothing other than what the ancient Greeks called atomists. An atomist is a materialist. Quantum. Quantity. Quantity refers to phenomena. Refers to materialism. Quantum means atomism. That is what quantum means. Quantum is... The ancient Greek Platonists refuted uh, quantum, i.e. atomism, thousands of years ago. But it has reared its ugly head like a stinky turd out in the bushes. And now it forms... This will soon pass. This too shall, as the ancient saying goes, this too shall pass. This form of mental uh, bullshit will pass from society just like a fart dissipates in the wind. It has to because it has no basis in reality. None. There is absolutely no criteria by which anybody with half a brain would believe this bullshit. Oh, but this guy's a Ph.D. You're just a schmuck uh, behind the microphone covered in tattoos. Sure I am. Sure I am. So let's, let's, let me make a quote again from Leonard Susskind. This is the Pope of quantum mechanics. This is an old schmuck with a Ph.D. and a beard. 
When common sense fails and intuition fails, we have to create a new form of intuition. When common sense fails, we must create uncommon sense. This is a very fancy way of saying when we can't figure something out, we got to make up crazy bullshit to explain it. <clears throat> Excuse me, but a virtual particle and a virtu virtual photon is exactly the crazy bullshit, or what he calls, uh, uncommon sense. <clears throat> See, now there's no such thing as uncommon sense. There's common sense and there's bullshit. There's common sense and there's nonsense. There's common sense and insanity. There's common sense and there's stupid. There's common sense and there's... Uh, there's no such thing as uncommon sense. <laughs> this, this is the Pope of quantum mechanics. He has just told you that when common sense fails to explain these things, we have to create crazy bullshit. <laughs> you have to be smarter than these morons. These people have PhDs and they're tenured at a university and they write all sorts of crazy books. Full. I've got a lot of their crazy books on bullshit in my back room back there. My house is like a library, girlfriend. A library. I have many of the books that these crazy assholes wrote. They are insane. They are insane. They invent nothing, they create nothing. All they do is just toss glitter and bullshit in your face and say, look at my PhD. That is all they do. They are idiots. These are not people like Tesla, Faraday, James Clark Maxwell, Oliver Heaviside, Charles Proteus Steinmetz. They are not these people. These people are insane assholes from top to bottom, left to right, and front to back. And they are scum. They are scum. They are no different than a sick-ass cult talking about uh, green aliens landing and taking you to the magic paradise. They are no different. It is a stinking cult that has its roots, unfortunately, uh, PhD'd and tenured at the universities. These people are more. They, be, they have actually told you outright that when common sense fails, we got to create crazy shit. They've told you that themselves. What more do you need? What more do you need?